Welcome back. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi back in the spotlight because of her stock trades. The lawmaker disclosed her husband, Paul Pelosi, purchased options to buy up between $750,000 and $1.5 million worth of Apple stock and up to $600,000 in Microsoft stock last month. The news coming just months after the speaker signaled that she may be willing to advance a bill to ban individual stock trading by lawmakers. Uh, she had previously shot down the idea, claiming it's unfair to exclude lawmakers from playing the market, but that was really disingenuous, Dagan, because nobody is telling her to not have access to the stock market like most of us who may have uh, access to inside information. Uh, there are indexes to buy or exchange-traded funds or mutual funds rather than buying individual stocks. So she's disingenuous when she comes out with this idea that it's unfair that lawmakers shouldn't invest in the stock market. Your reaction? I, I don't think she even cares about the appearance of impropriety that, anymore. That she, I, I've said this before, but this woman is so out of touch. She thinks the Golden Corral is a chain of jewelry stores in Texas. She, these aren't even stocks. These are options trades. And to your point, Maria, I have never, ever since I started working as a financial journalist almost 30 years ago, I've never owned individual stocks. I've always owned mutual funds or exchange traded funds. Never, ever owning right. an individual stock. But we know that she's rich. Look no further than the car that her husband was driving after that accident and DUI that he got. It was a Porsche, as we say down south. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Lee, this is the woman who is overseeing legislation, writing legislation. Uh, for tech companies and everybody else, Lee, I mean, we just recently learned Microsoft was going to be getting a big contract from the Department of Defense. How does she buy the stock before we know what's going on in terms of government business with these companies? This certainly doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all, and it's not fair. But the bottom line, too, that I find so ironic about all of this is she is you know, one of the leaders of the party that's supposed to be fighting against big companies. She's supposed to be fighting for the little guy. You know, she's operating the whole elite stratosphere on all kinds of information that other people don't have. And it's just simply the, the hypocrisy of it is what is, I think, so staggering. And why people aren't more upset about it, to me, is also um, intriguing. Because it is a complete contradiction with what her policies and what her party is supposed to stand for, that she's able to take advantage of these kinds of things.